hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Gifty. a warm and pleasant welcome to you i hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there in today's video we are making something simple um we're making some vegetable stew with some coconut rice so let me introduce you to the ingredients and let's get started for my list of ingredients i have about six cloves of garlic over here one teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes i have one large onion chopped and then I have um, 128 ounce can of diced tomatoes over here I also have um, some vegetables I have a handful of green beans I have some yellow squash now typically when I make this stew I use um, yellow bell pepper but I don't have any yellow bell pepper at hand and I'm not going to the store just for one bell pepper so if you have the red yellow bell pepper you can use that instead of the yellow squash and then I have one um, of the red and green bell peppers and then I have three carrots over here one zucchini and I have some fresh basil as well if you want if you have it you can use it if you don't you can omit it and use any um, type of herb that you have at hand I also have salt to taste I have half a pound of um, codfish and half a pound of clam meat this is cooked already and then of course you need our spices and our oil so I'll introduce you to those ingredients as we go along now this is just an inspiration to use whatever you have on hand whatever you have in your fridge you know you don't have to use the exact same vegetables because in this season we are we're just using what we have in our fridge and pantry and whatnot so just use what you have on hand so we'll go ahead and start okay, so what i want to do is infuse the garlic flavor into the oil so i'm going to chop it into large rounds add a little bit of oil in there and I haven't turned on the stove yet because when you're infusing your oil you want the the garlic and the and the oil to come to temperature together so I have it on low so we can infuse well together okay guys so the garlic is infused its flavor into the oil so I'll go ahead and add in the chopped um, the chopped onions and for this stew, really, I wanted to just make everything chopped. I'll add the pepper flakes and one tablespoon of ginger. I want everything nice and chunky. So we'll let it cook and then we'll add in the tomatoes. So it's time to, to add in the spices. I have your two bay leaves, about half a teaspoon of black pepper. Um, two sprigs of rosemary which I chopped up and then I have one teaspoon of my African spice blend I have one teaspoon of paprika and one tablespoon of um, curry powder so I'll add that in here and let us fry for just a couple of seconds it smells incredible so if you don't have fresh um, rosemary, you can use about half a teaspoon of the dried rosemary. I'll add a little bit of salt to season this layer and now go in with the um, chopped tomatoes. If you don't have canned tomatoes, you can use fresh because that's what you have. Remember, we're just making do with whatever we have. So now I'll cover this and let this go and then we'll chop up the rest of our ingredients. For your convenience, I'll leave the list of ingredients and measurements in the description box down below. into bite-sized pieces. Same with that. Okay, so our stew is nicely cooked. I'll go in with the codfish and also the 
carrots and green beans because they are the hardest and so we'll put those in first very simple stew I also season the fish and the clam meat with some salt and black pepper. I'll cover it and let it cook for about five minutes and I'll add in the rest of the vegetables. So while the stew is cooking, I'll proceed to make the coconut milk for the coconut rice. To make the coconut rice, I'm going to use, make um, some coconut milk. This is the matured coconut, right? Wait, yeah. Ghana, yadiri, kubimi. So I cracked it open, poured out the coconut water. Here it is. And I've washed it, so I'm going to cut it into small pieces. So I meant to say this is the coconut that we enjoy with um, cooked corn or roasted corn back home. Not kube, kube is coconut, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, so I have three and a half cups of water over here, which I'm going to blend it with. And here's the coconut water. So I'm going to just sip it and make sure none of the particles gets in. So if you can't find like the fresh coconut, you can use the canned coconut milk or coconut cream and add some water to it. We'll add in our clam meat. So if you don't have, use just use whatever you have. You can use shrimp. If you have chicken, use that. If you have tuna, use that. And I'll go ahead and add in the squash as well. Just look at all that deliciousness. Healthy, simple, and delicious. Tell me you're not hungry already. In this pot, I have two, about two tablespoons of coconut oil. This is from Ghana, so it's very nice and fragrant and coconutty. I'll add in one chopped onion and also the garlic. Okay. So we'll let it all come to temperature together. And I'll also add in about one teaspoon of Fine. So I have here five cups of washed basmati rice. Then let it toast for about a minute to absorb the coconut flavor. It smells incredible, you guys. Here's the coconut milk. So I'll go ahead and add in. That's about three and a half cups. So I'll add in about a cup and half more and make sure you cook your rice according to whatever rice you're using I'll add salt to taste and I'll cover it and let it um, come to a boil so now we'll go ahead and check up on the stew and see how it's doing all right you guys so this is how it's looking so far looks amazing smells incredible absolutely delicious we'll add in the peppers next now give it a stir and also you want to taste for your salt and seasonings it looks very vibrant and colorful and remember, because um, we're using a lot of vegetables, you know, the vegetables, are, especially the zucchini and the yellow squash, it's going to render off the liquid. And so that's the excess liquid you see in there. But you don't want to overcook your veg veggies as well. So now you want to go ahead and cover up the stew and let the peppers cook a little bit. The rice is also going well. It's rendered off the water, so I'll cover it with the parchment paper and let it cook through. And there goes in the basil or herb of your choice to introduce some freshness back into the stew. You can enjoy this with your rice, your quinoa, broad yampesi, anase, bayrampesi, papebi, or you can have it on its own, or you can enjoy it with whatever your heart pleases. So I'll let this simmer for just about two minutes and I'll turn it off. All right guys, so that's it, the heat is off. There is our stew looking nice and vibrant and colorful. The veggies are still nice and crunchy and delicious. Now that's the coconut rice. That's also done. As you can see, the grains are well separated. Miyako, miyako, miyako. 
so everything is checked let's give this a taste and see tastes good you can taste the coconut all right family and that is it for today very quick and simple dish tastes absolutely delicious the rice is very nice and fragrant and remember you don't have to use the exact same vegetables and protein that i use just use whatever you have available to you i really hope you do give this recipe a try don't forget to like comment share and subscribe down below and i hope you really enjoyed quarantine cooking with me today as we all gain weight together you know until we meet again remember to stay blessed stay out of trouble and be well take care of yourself bye y'all